Hi, beautiful friends. So today I thought it might be kind of fun, even though I don't drink much these days, but I thought it might be kind of fun to just paint kind of an exploding champagne bottle, celebrating we made it through another year. So just a fun little uh, tutorial for you to celebrate a new year coming. And the brush I'll be using is my Velvet Touch, uh, my Round 8. But keeping in mind for you beginners, if you, you know, aren't quite ready to step into purchasing uh, your Princeton's yet, that's what this is, a Princeton 8 round, you can get this whole set of Degatos. In the U.S., it comes in a set of 10, by the way, I noticed. In several other countries, it comes in a set of 13, which is kind of interesting. But uh, these are great brushes. I've been using these, gosh, for about eight months, and they hold their tip really well. They're just a great beginner's brush, and you get the whole set. So it's going to give you uh, a variety to kind of figure out what size is uh, the size you like best. I tend to go with an eight round in the Princeton, and that's just my go-to brush. I also recently received, uh, kind of gifted these cold press Meaden block paper. It's 100% cotton, and I know a lot of you asked me for those, so I'm using those up, but as you know, I love my Artisto pads. I think they're just perfect for the beginner. Um, they're really great quality. They're not cotton, but really nice texture. And I fill these up with all my different paintings and swatches. And then I come back and I'll just label my book and I can refer back to it. So I am using the Meaden 100% cotton and I'll, I'll find a link for you for that. Um, but you know, as a norm, I think these come in a set of three. They're fantastic. If you can't get that, those Artistos in other countries, this Meaden uh, 10 by 7 or any of their sizes are really fantastic. I'm also going to be using my Paul Rubens, uh, my Lang palette. Lots of great colors, creamy, perfect again for the beginner. I use them for every day because I, you know, can't afford to paint with my Winsor Newtons daily. So that's what I use. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a little champagne bottle here, pretty easy. And it's going to be exploding out here, which is kind of fun, I thought, and just an easy little painting we can play with today. So I'm just drawing the little lip at the top and maybe I know when I open bottles with something like a champagne bottle, they always have that little bit of foil crinkled up. And then I'm just gonna come down and I'm going to have the bottle run off the page here like that. There we go. And then we're just going to make this champagne so fun kind of spraying out here so we're going to use a lot of wet and wet by the way i'm using my black wing pencil as you know i love these and make sure when we go to paint this bottle that we're leaving because it's glass we're leaving a lot of um kind of shininess for the bottle so just have that in mind when you go to paint that in you want to leave that uh, some white space in there. And I think I'll do mine. I think what I have in my cupboard here is actually Moa A from Christmas. So I'll just draw that in there. And then again, we're just gonna do this wet and wet spray coming out here. So let's go ahead and play with the spray first. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wet my paper and I know normally I tell you, you know, don't make puddles, but for this, you know, I, you'd probably be okay with some puddles. We really want to make it look like it's wet. So just using wet water, and we'll play with it a little, so don't get too fussy here. And then I'm going to go into that with 
my rose red, which is this beautiful pink, and start touching in here. I might even use some of this My Lang um, light pink, the iridescent I have in my larger palette here. It's kind of pretty too. So if you have the larger My Lang palette, this iridescent pink is really pretty. You could add some of that in. Just touching in really and letting this get into that water that you laid down. You'll have to work fast. So this is one time, like I said, you know, making some puddles here is actually okay because you're gonna get some things like that that you see there. And make sure you're not covering in every spot with the same value of paint. We want some areas to be a little bit more transparent. And what you can also do here is you can just blow. And get some of those sprays. I think that's kind of fun. There you go. So I think I would put the darker pink color down here at the bottom because as it spreads out, it's going to, of course, become more transparent. A little bit of splatter here and we'll let that spread out as well. So I'll blow on that. There you go. So look at that beautiful spray. Now, if you wanted, you could take, if you have those mirror series that we used all through the holidays, MAB brand, go ahead and pick some of that up and let's just dot in some of that here and there. Look how beautiful that, oh, that's fun, you guys. Look at that. And let that kind of blend in. I'm telling you guys, I am still obsessed with these mirror metallics. They are just so fun. So go ahead and add those in if you want. You could even splatter some of those like that. So fun. I mean, isn't that exactly what you would picture for New Year's Eve? We don't make it up to New Year's Eve, by the way, but... It's still fun. And then I might just go in with a little bit of darker pinks right in here where it first comes out. So I'm gonna grab some of that rose matter and drop that in there. But make sure, like I said, to leave some of these lighter areas because that looks like a beautiful spray. And look at that, isn't that fun? This meat and paper being on a block, which just means it's sealed on all four edges, is really great for this type of technique with a lot of water because it's you don't have to tape down your page, it just um, keeps it all tight on the edges. Now let's go into our bottle and keep in mind here, I'm going to wet this but I am going to leave some white areas because I want that sh to look kind of shiny-ish. So just wetting this area, and then I'm gonna make my, bo my bottle pink, maybe some of the iridescent from the My Lang Bigger palette. Look how fun, look how pretty that is. Isn't that festive? And I want these lines to be rather washy and wet because it is supposed to be kind of a shiny look on the bottle. Now, the tip of the bottle might be a little bit darker because it's tighter together. So I will add in some light pink, but some dark pink in there, like that. I'm gonna blow on that and let it spread out. 
There we go. Okay, I'll go into this now with a little bit of those dark, that darker pink, just on the edges here. And that's wet and wet, so it's gonna give that fun illusion of it's darker on the edges and maybe a little bit of a shadow there. Okay, let's see what happens if I take a tiny bit of paper towel. There we go, I like that better. I just soaked up a little bit of that and then I'll go into my metallics, those mirror metallics and Start adding in some shininess here. There we go, so fun. And for this little tiny piece of foil here, you could do it in gold, but I'm gonna do it in the silver. Just like that. So I've just got these few colors here that I'm using, really pink, a little bit of metallic, and that light pink iridescent. And gosh, I feel like I'm almost kind of done with this. I'm gonna blow a little bit more on here just to get some of those sprays coming out. Maybe a little bit down here. You could use a straw here as well. There we go really gives you that feel of movement, doesn't it? And then I'm going to go into the little letters here. And I think, let it dry a bit. Let me just take this gun here, the heat gun, and I'm just gonna dry that a little so that I can write. Because this micron pen might uh, just blur a little. You could even use glitter in here if you wanted. Put some glue and glitter if you really wanted to get fancy. That's probably good. And then I'm just gonna write in. There we go. And that's pretty much it. You could write, now keep in mind all, I am not a calligrapher, but you could write in here, happy, calligraphy is on my list to learn, by the way. New year, 2020. 24. And how fun is that? There you go. I hope you'll give this a try. It's an opportunity to also play with that wet in wet and use these mirror metallics one more time by MAB and just have fun with this. I thought it might be a fun little project for New Year's Eve. All right, everybody. Thank you.